The bottoms. The bottoms. The bottoms. The bottoms. Time to watch the first 10 minutes of Baby Driver and then turn off the rest of the movie. 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. If the GR Corolla was Boba Fett and he said, Don't toy with me. I'm not a little boy anymore. And you're an old man. Then the Gen 1 STI is Cad Bane saying, I'm still faster than you. And the GR Corolla said something like, That may be true, but I've got a computer. And the STI would say, Let's find out. This is our giveaway car for February. Couldn't think of a finer thing to have during the winter months. An all-wheel drive, 300 horsepower machine. Well, it's probably making more than 300 horsepower at this point, but we'll get to that. Welcome to 2024, and RCR is going to Australia, Melbourne, in November. So that's what we're shooting for. This is what we have to pay for, and these giveaways are helping us pay for this big, big trip. So buy a mug or a digital download and the upside for you is someone's going to win a Gen 1 STI. You know, no one really cared about these things until Baby Driver came out. I remember the hot one to have was, you know, the lift back. It was like, oh, it's like the ones in Japan. And then and then Edgar Wright came out and said, you know what? Oh, the first gens, they're good. And I know the one in the first gen was a Hawkeye and this is a blob eye. But, you know, Subaru people know that, that it's, it's just facelifts from, well, the, the front, no, we, could go, we could go deep inside baseball with Subaru in a minute here. But click on the link in the description down there. You're going to buy a mug, you're going to get a digital download, and someone's going to win this STI. Thank you so much for supporting regular car reviews. Thank you for keeping this show going. And thank you for sending us to Australia. So click on the link in the description, buy a mug or a digital download, and someone is going to win this STI. Uh, Get Entered to Win has their own Instagram page. I'll get better about just reposting them because they do post who wins these things. The thing about most Subaru builds is people want to build them and they want to turn them into drag cars. That's that's really a lie. That's what most people use them for. They, they use them for doing highway pulls and stuff like that. But... That's not what Subaru intended this car to be. It was made to celebrate their uh, all their rally wins and and all these uh, championships that they had. So when they finally brought it to the United States, well, we loved it, but we started using the car for what we thought it'd be good for. And that's wrong. What it's meant for is this. A poorly finished road that's very narrow. In 2004, Subaru launched a volley shot across America's V8 sensible bow. The Gen 1 STI is still faster than most four doors calling themselves sport sedans. Yes, the GR Corolla also makes 300 horsepower from a 1.6 liter three-cylinder turbo. But I drove that. And while it is a fun car and a showcase of Toyota's innovation into three-cylinder engines. It's torqueless and surgically clinical. The car cares about your safety. It's like riding a roller coaster. Yes, it's a lot of fun. And yes, your emotions are up. But in the back of your mind, you know you're going to be okay. This is a safe ride. The Gen 1 STI is not that. 
This is the most DGIF car Subaru ever made. Boost by gear? Nope. The only thing that limits boost in first and maybe second gear is a lack of engine load from the low gearing from the uh, TY856 six-speed transmission. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The box said 10 horsepower. The box said 10 horsepower. The box said it would free up room for 10 horsepower. Oh, the box said 10 horsepower. The box said 30 horsepower. My brake rotors say STI for more brake power. My custom upper <laughs> my custom upper transmission mount makes me shift faster. The box said 20 horsepower. The box said 100% horsepower increase. Uh, everything about the access part is just so 2000s. The rubber <sighs> The squishy rubber circular buttons, they couldn't just put, put a D-pad in there, they had to make it weird. What is this on top? Is this a spot for a wrist strap? Why, what are you taking this off and taking it with you? I would not really attempt this in anything else. And I have full confidence in a machine that's 20 years old. rotates around itself. If your girlfriend says she likes riding in your Subaru WRX STI, she's dumb. She's extra, extra dumb. No one likes riding in them. And that's a weird thing, right? Because they're four-door cars. They're supposed to be passenger vehicles. And they totally aren't. Time to go in my bathroom. Time to go in my bathroom. Time to go in my bathroom bedroom. I haven't messed with the center differential yet because I I need to read the manual for that. It, it's nuts that Subaru just let you have... Did I just see a trailer in front of me? Oh, fun time's over. Put my clothes on the radiator so they get warm and make my balls happy. Okay, whichever way he goes, I'm not. But that's the thing, about in the 2000s, they let you... Then we will go right. They let you just control the center differential and everything. Okay. Have, like, if you think you know better than what the car is doing, you just go ahead and mess with it. Your funeral. Are we going to limit boost at all? Nope. Is it boost by gear? Nope. Is the boost going to come on linearly, linearly or controllably? Nope. Nope. When the turbo lights, it lights. Good luck, chuckle nuts. Where's the bathroom? Well, I told you where it is! Stock, you would squeeze... Mm, you would squeeze out like 9 PSI in first, 14 in second, and maybe 15 total from, from then on up, you know, once the turbo finally gets load. But this STI is, of course, making more than that. You get to control the center differential yourself, if you want. Go ahead, Colin McRae. Yeah. You're a rally driver, aren't you? Yeah, you get ready to race. Here's a big wing, just like what's in WRC. Here's no fog lights. Because we need more space to have more STI logos, because a full explanation of what STI means on the door isn't enough. STI. Super turgid indigestion. Sup, Tanya, I need your mouth. Smelly turd imminent. Shortcut to intercourse. Some twat incoming. Smoke top indica. Critical. 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 Eh, eh. Alarm. 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 Uh and you didn't buy a Subaru. A, you didn't buy an STI in 2004 because you wanted build quality. You, you didn't buy it because you wanted a comfortable interior, although I do like these seats. Oh, brakes are good. You bought it because there was something wrong with you. 
because no one else was giving you exactly what you wanted and you weren't a fan of Mitsubishi. Well, the Evo 9 was, was gone by that point. Good, 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 very good. Uh, which, which way, which way, which way, which way, which way? I think this way. You are free to completely <laughs> destroy your center differential and there's nothing stopping you just from pressing that button and cranking that thing up to L and just wrecking your tires. So, let's talk about this. Center diff, yeah, and back here, DCC manual button. What do these do? Let's turn the car on here, at least electrics. You like that, the little little rev, rev warning button up there? Anyway, so over here, you got DCC set to auto. I press this button, that light disappears. And down below, you see it's set to zero. I come back here and start moving this knob up and down the little dial. Ooh, it goes up, goes back down again. Goes up, goes back down again. Hit the manual button, disappears, goes back to auto. You got an L up here, and in fact, there's a little D10 at the end of it. What does L stand for? Doesn't stand for low, stands for lock. This little knob, it's not moving your bias, your your split, your torque split front and rear. All this is is a, you know, a limited slip differential. Now how much slip do you want limited? Do you want it completely locked or do you want it completely off? That's it. Now if you go all the way up to the top and go lock, what that does is it eats up your tires. It isn't truly a locked up diff because, you know, you need your wheels need to spin a little bit offset from time to time. But if needed, you can almost, I don't know, let's say like 95% lock up your center differential for when it's time to really have some hoonigans in the snow. But the manual says almost all driving, including snow, you will never touch these two knobs. But if you intend to rally race this thing, there it is. That's what made the F STI so special. This thing is ready to go out on a, on a basic stage. This is the kind of thing you don't really see anymore. Mouthwash and gargle and the soap that I refill. Subaru is still a worthwhile company today in 2024, but it's like a high school superstar 20 years after their big moment. It's 2024 and they're still talking about their two-point conversion from 2004. <laughs> airplane pilot on duty. Subaru ended their WRC team in 2008, but they're still propping their personality up on a few first place wins from the mid 1990s. Meat Slicer 9000. Meat Slicer 9000. I am the governor. And yes, Subaru was a juggernaut back then. They got first place in 1995 again in 1996, and again in 1997, but that was their last World Rally Championship win. They got third place in 98, second in 99, third in 2000, and then they f placed fourth a bunch of times, and then it was 2008. And the parent company, Fuji Heavy Industries, who normally has, is hands off Subaru, they let Subaru do whatever they want, but not in 2008. They lowered their newspaper, and peered over a pair of Bakelite frame bifocals, and they looked down at Subaru playing on the carpet of the living room, surrounded with broken toys and drool. And Fuji said, How much is this costing me? And Subaru looked up with a face full of Doritos 3D and Uncrustables, said, EA Sports, it's in the game. And Fuji said, Okay, that's enough of that. Fuji Heavy Industries figured that those three WRC wins was enough. That was enough. That's enough to form a, a nice foundation for some marketing, and we made our money, and people know now that Subaru means rallying, but, but 
Subaru hasn't been back racing on the world stage in over a decade, at least officially. Team Subaru USA exists, but Subaru's website for Rally Team USA is hauntingly vague. Dessert menu. Harem, harem of twinks. 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 Running away from their parents. Harem of twinks. Like it says, in 2004, Travis Pastrana begins his rally career. But then it doesn't say anything else. Like, did he win? W what happened? Yeah, Travis Pastrana was in the WRC in 2007, but in Group N, and he placed fifth. Not bad, not terrible. But why would Subaru lead with him? Oh, because he was in the X Games and he won a gold there, I guess? But it's 2004 in this STI, and in this time period, Subaru is still on the world stage and still racing. Mmm, time for an STI's favorite activity. Having a drink. You don't get all this power. You don't get originally 315 crank. There is a, yep, make your decision. Pumps are over here. There, there is a trade-off for all of this. And it's, uh, oh, out of service on that one. If you think you're gonna have one of these things and not put high test in it, you got another think coming. Our old camera car was a 2004 Forester. So Forester, again, based on the Impreza. So everything in here feels comforting and familiar. But back in 2004, this was as much as you could possibly pay for a Subaru. So you got a few things that I did not. One, ooh, logic controls. Well, of course, this would have still been a switch, but I didn't get an auto setting. I just got how hot do you want it. The car didn't do the thinking for me. Also, ooh, this is the logic controls right here. The old one, if you had just a plain old Forester or a base model Impreza, these would have been mechanical knobs. So they'd be just push pulling your blend doors. But here, you just select it and a little electric motor does it for you. Same thing over here, less effort to do that. Also, I only got one down here, one cup holder there. I didn't get this. I didn't get the JDM style Hachiroku little drink holder right here. I mean, it kind of holds my water bottle, but you know, not really. And down here, oh, that does work. That does stay put down there. But in Corvette style, if you put a drink down here that's normal sized, it blocks the shifter. In a Forester up here, this would have been the fun little extra cubby hole with a lid, but here, because it's fancy, I get a clock. One of my favorite amenity features of the STI, some higher end Subaru's got this, is this little flap. That kept you from having to chase the sun. Now, over here, nope, nope, they don't slide back and forth, but it's a small enough car, you just have to scooch forward and put your head there if the sun's there. But if the sun tries to get in the little space here, between the rear view mirror and the top. Oh, I'm gonna fix your little wagon right there. Here in the back of the car, the rear passengers in an STI, no center arm rest for you to rest anything on. No flip out drink holders for the back either. But what they do get is adjustable seat belts in the rear in the rear and uh, all parts of the car for that matter. Your door handles are fake plastic chrome instead of just regular gray. Way up in the front is your button for intercooler water spray, which doesn't work in this car because it has, it's been changed to a front mount uh, intercooler. And also your adjustable headlights, which really just means adjustable down. I, I think it's a throw over from like Europe or Japan in case you were pulling a trailer and it would weigh the back of the car down and make the headlights rise up too much. But in this case, all it does is you can turn it to three, which just means, means it shines down more and then you don't see anything. It's 2004, time to listen to this hot new band called The Killers. 
And now, Love Honk, as created by co-host user Silver Spots.